What's that special thing that makes us different from animals? It's our ability to imagine, to dream, and to believe in ideas that don't exist yet. This man had an idea. He saw the problem of poor sanitation and degrading life conditions in fast urbanizing cities and believed that order, symmetry, and standardization could be the solution. He separated all the functions into different zones in order to clear congestion and improve transportation. He saw the cramped living conditions, the lack of light and air in existing urban centers, and believed that we needed to build tall, monolithic skyscrapers, which would bring light and fresh air while leaving lots of open space for roaming around. He believed that his ideas would help create a better society. This man had an idea. He saw the blighted neighborhoods, the lack of sanitation, and the cramped living conditions, and believed that by replacing these slums with these towers in the park, that they could make way for better quality housing and better quality citizens. He believed that the residents of New York deserved lush green spaces, and that the children deserved to run around these parks, breathe fresh air, and play with other children. He dreamt of open roads and highways that would connect different cities, and he called these the lungs for the city. This boy had an idea. He saw that everyone on his block was suffering from the heat. It was hot, muggy, and miserable. So when he was at school, he went to the janitor's closet, grabbed the wrench, and put it in his backpack so that when he got home, he could crack open the fire hydrant. Maybe he'll get in trouble, but he believed that this would save his neighbors from the heat. But when he got home, the buildings were gone. There was nothing but rubble and debris. His neighborhood had been designated a slum, and they had to move into a tall concrete building. Some of his neighbors were not able to come. There were no shops, no restaurants, and no life on the street. When it got dark, nobody went outside. Some people question whether it was intentional that the bridges were built too low so that the public buses could not get through, restricting low-income residents from accessing certain suburbs. Some people question whether it was intentional that freeways were built right next to certain neighborhoods to limit growth and access. Does it really matter? An idea can't be a good idea unless everyone's voices are heard.